from Oracle Park in San Francisco. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. Our starter in this one, Kyle Harrison. What should we keep an eye on here? It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. All right, ready to go here. Here's Cattell Marte. As the lefty gets to work. Right down the chute, and this one is off and running. First pick, 760. And downstairs. That one hit to right, and it stays fair. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I tell you what, it's not easy to do. And that one fouled off. Here comes the 0-1. That's a little bit low. And there he goes. Ground ball right side. And it's through for him. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high level spot right there. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Good power, not great in the OBP department. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And that one is lifted in the air. Gets under it. And out number one on the grab. Now the Diamondbacks line up as put together by Tori Lovello. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, Corbin Carroll. Bell Boot, just an on-base machine. Last month, he was on almost half the time, an OBP over 450. Just a really tough out. I mean, this guy's a catalyst for this offense right now. And now it's Christian Walker. That's in there. That's strike one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. The Diamondbacks with a chance to score first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Right through there for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Two on, one out. Nope. That's inside. Fights it off. You'll see another. The pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. One, two. 
That's down and in. One out. Runners at first and second. Three two now. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Jock Peterson to bat next. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Kicks and deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And now the lefty gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. And that'll That's load the bases. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And now Jack Peterson swings hey. through that one for strike one. Oh, one to count. Marte, the runner at third. Carroll at second. Walker at first. One gone. Swings and misses. That is strike two. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And the next pitch is way outside. Hard ground ball base now. One runs in. A second scores as well. It's 2-0. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit now. Ball, Ball one. one, no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering upstairs. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two zero. -oh. Slapped foul. The two one. Oh. And another ball. Still only one out here in the inning. And they're all no, loaded up. Take the break. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle fighting the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Gabriel Moreno now at the plate. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Out front, rip foul. One Not ball. close with that one. Now one and two. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Here's a one two. 
And that nope. just misses. That's when you always want as a pitcher. Down at the knees, and it looked to me like he's barking. That's a strike. Doesn't change the call, but sometimes it helps to let that frustration out a little bit. Here comes a pitch. That one way inside. Base is loaded. One away. Stays alive. a piece there we'll do it again well he hasn't gotten the result yet but it's got to feel pretty confident three foul balls in a row he's right on this guy payoff pitch foul ball and it remains a full cow grinding a B right here about to see pitch number 10 In the air, center field. Base hit, one run in already. Now the second run is in. It's four zip. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. Two on, one out. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jake McCarthy. That one inside, and that's ball one. Well, it's not the inning he was planning on to begin this start, but you've got to find a way to shake things off and give your team some length and put up some zeros. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first yeah. and third. On the inside corner for a strike. That pitch clips the outside corner, and it's one and two. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Kevin Newman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Two outs. And there at the knees. And a count even at one. are occupied with two down. On the ground to third. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. Nine men come to the plate for score. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Giants nothing. Back here in San Francisco and towing the slab, Merrill Kelly. Well, he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's the DH, Wilmer Flores. 
That nope. one a little bit high. One and oh. Counts one and oh. Just oh, missed. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Just three. missed. Three balls, one strike. And a foul ball. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The wind of the pitch. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. No, good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that bad side just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. Fly ball down the line. McCarthy on the move. Grabs it on the run. One down. Here's the Giants lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton. And even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. And first offering is fouled off. One out, base is empty. Next Whoa. pitch is downstairs. One ball, one strike. It skips in the dirt. Wouldn't chase that time. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. One down, base is empty. This one in the air right field. McCarthy settles under it. Makes the catch for the out. Two down. Batting third. The center field. Two outs, bases okay. empty. Jorge Soler up Go at the plate. Man. There's the strike. All one's the count. Started after the 0 1 pitch and now a check down to first. And he went around. Ruled a swing. Next offering misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And another ball. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. High grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that extends the inning. Everything came together for him. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And here is Michael Conforto. And that one upstairs. Solaire off of first with two away.
in two the balls, dirt, no and strikes. that's ball two. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground, stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a pitch. Gets the outside corner with that one. Right hander kicks deals. High fly ball, right field. McCarthy sizing this one up, corrals it. And that is the third out of the inning. So the Giants leave one. They trail it here, 4 0. Back here at Oracle Park, second inning set to go. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Marte goes six foot one, 210 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. The next pitch misses, one and one. And here it comes. And that's inside. off the inside edge. Two and one. Good ball eye right three. there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. It's a good change up to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. And it sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. So, man aboard, this is Corbin Carroll. Singled and scored his first time. And ball one. He takes a strike. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. The 1-1 oh, is upstairs. Up. Now two balls and a strike. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here at the top of the second. Hey. That one finds the zone. It's two and two. Two, two strikes. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Coming home. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Guriel. He's 0 for 1. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Another ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Guriel gets a piece. Good That's eye in that three. spot.
Hit on the ground to the right side. And that one finds its way through. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now batting the first baseman. Christian. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Kyle Harrison gives way, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Nick Avila. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He walked and came around to score his first time up. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. the pitch ball well, one there right no outs runners at first and second Three. got the back going too soon and strike two clearly was sitting on a fastball right there it just ended up out in front of the slider hey you can't fault him for his commitment now he's just gonna have to battle with two strikes on the ground a short could be two one at second out. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Here's Jack Peterson. A little bit low. Action in the pen down there. Jordan Hicks getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Just missed. Two outs. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Full count three and two. Left hand batter waits. Battling here as he fouls it away. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. His first homer of the year, and they throw a pair on the board. It's seven nothing. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally, squared one up. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting the ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. Two outs, nobody on. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. He reached out a walk his first time. That one catches the zone, and that's strike one.
Two down, nobody on. And they'll do it again. Owen oh two now. Nope. And delivers outside. outside. It's a good take. Two outs, bases empty. And another ball. That one drilled left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 7-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. We head to the bottom of the go. second the and time. digging in for San Francisco, Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman. And a pitch. That Ball one off the pitch. mark. Ball one. Well, every pitcher wants a run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Two and oh. Pitch in the dirt, and now 3-0. and oh. And a four-pitch walk. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Man at first, and now it's going to be Tyro Estrada. That's a strike across the top of the zone. to the plate out to center Carroll moving under it makes the grab batting seven the right fielder Mike Yastrzemski Mike Yastrzemski up here Mike Yastrzemski Originally drafted by the Orioles, 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. And San Francisco's really where nope, he got a shot ball. to play. Chapman, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Off balance feed, there's one. But safe at first, it's a fielder's choice. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And up next for the Giants, Patrick Bailey. And that one hammered. That's back. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. So two down, Nick Ahmed here to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offer. Oh and one. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in at bottom half of inning number two. And it's fouled away. Lifted in the air now the left side. 
And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. Ah, when the Giants go deep, it's bye-bye, baby. It's now a 7-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Top half of the third inning. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. For Arizona, the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Avila back to work. Slider clips the zone. You know, these D-backs doing a good job at the plate with runners on base, and that can be a key difference maker in the game. They put a bunch of runs on the board, thanks in large part to four hits with runners in scoring position. And there's a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. McCarthy in the box now. No balls in a strike. And that's off the inside edge. And it's a ball to strike. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Yastrzemski ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Two outs. Base is empty. Kevin Newman stands in now for the Diamondbacks. First no, offering and it just misses. Headed down the line. And that drops foul. Two outs. Outside, that's a ball. Close oh, one, doesn't get the call. Three and one. Cattell Marte waiting to hit for the D-backs. And the 3-1. Popped up. Under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. And the Diamondbacks down in order. But they're still on top, 7-2. to two. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the DH, Wilmer Flores. The right hander back to work. Misses inside. And that's ball one. Another ball. In the air, out towards right center. Carroll moves towards it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Here's Lamont Wade Jr.
A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. Next one, one in the dirt. Wouldn't that chase that through. time. Base is empty one away here in the last half of the third. Not even close there. Full count now. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. The center fielder, number two, Jorge Soler. And now the center fielder, Jorge Soler. One for one with a single so far. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Righty delivers. One and that's outside. That one missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And the right-hander deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Giants go down quietly. They're down five. It's seven to two. Welcome back, and now on the mound to start the fourth, Jordan Hicks. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. So back to the he top of the Arizona back. lineup, and now like Cattell Marte. Cattell Marte. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. The pitch. And another ball. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball three. And there's the automatic. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch no, things ball, out ball. front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Carroll. And first offering is fouled off. Ball and that's down it away. Backdoor breaking Boy, ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. 
the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Marte aboard here at first with nobody out. Three. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it, and kind of a gift at a two-strike count, but sometimes you just get fooled, and you got to tip your cap. Now fly ball to right center. Sizes this one up. Soler puts it away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Walker. Swing and a miss, strike one. Good one. pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Two outs and a foul ball. And there's a ball. Goes down looking. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now the Giants four hitter, Michael Conforto. Michael. The line to kick the pitch. And ball one. With all these Giants, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Here's a 1-1. Swing it a foul straight back. The wind and the pitch. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. One out in the bottom of the fourth. And here is Matt Chapman. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. All one. Just two. missed. He got two balls, one strike. This one lifted in the air, left field. Peterson makes the play, two away now. Up next to the Giants. The second base. Tyro Estrada to the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. A little bit high, maybe, and it's one to no. Ball one, no strike. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. We go to the top of the fifth, and Jack Peterson stands in. And the right hander back to work. Ball Hicks one. in his seventh season, 27 up. years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2015. Right ah. through there for a strike. Mm -hmm. 
And that one almost got him. And a 2-1 on the way. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Two, two. Out towards right center field. Solaire gets under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Now batter. Third base. And now Eugenio, Eugenio Suarez. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Ground ball up the middle. Into the outfield. Base hit. So up next, Gabriel Moreno, one for two with a two-run single back in the first. That one pushed foul. Just missed. I got one ball. Man one at strike. first, one away. Aye. Next pitch in for a strike, and the count is one and two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back-to-back -back singles, pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. First and second, one out. Now it's the right fielder, Jake McCarthy. That's in for a strike. Oh, one's the count. Suarez over at second. Moreno over at first with one away. One and, one and that one gets past the catcher. And the runners will move up. Got to take advantage of this opportunity now because of the wild pitch. They've got two runners in scoring position. Good time for the hitter to lock in, put the ball in play hard somewhere. Two on, one out. That's a ball. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And he deals. And a good oh, eye there. Ball. Second and third here. One away. Two knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the righty deals. Drive and that's a base hit out of the center field. One run is in. 
Another comes in to score, and they're pulling away up by seven now. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Kevin Newman will hit next. And there, and it's 0-1. In the air, right side. Yastrzemski makes the play. The batter number four, second baseman, Cattell Marte. So the lineup flips over. Cattell Marte getting ready to hit. Moved first. McCarthy back on a dive. That one is hammered right field. Yastrzemski raging back towards the wall. And it's off the wall. Around third. He will score. And it's now 10-2. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Number 74 into the game. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Man at second here with two away. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Corbin Carroll. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there, and that gets down in the corner. Run comes in from second, and it's 11-2. It's a double, third hit of the night for him. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. one for three breaking ball That's inside and that is ball one Man on second, two down. And now it's even up. High in the air, out to right. Sizing this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. They get four runs on five hits, no errors, and leave one. Last half of the fifth coming up.